Video calls on platforms like FaceTime and Zoom have historically been pretty sedentary activities. If you get up from your chair, your face leaves the frame, for better or worse. The camera on the new iPad Pro has a feature called Center Stage that lets you move around the room. Let's take a look at Center Stage and find out how to do it all. If you're someone that likes the versatility of working with an iPad, using it for video calls just got a lot more interesting. My buddy Nick Henry made a great video with the iPad Pro showing everything he could do with it in a single charge. You should go check out that video on the CNET YouTube channel. And of course you know what to do when you get there. Don't be afraid to subscribe to this channel while you're at it. Nick touched on center stage in his one charge review, but today I want to focus on that feature a little more. Now I know it's always been possible to make FaceTime calls while you're out walking around with your iPhone, but if you want someone to see your face, it is called FaceTime after all, you gotta hold the phone out in front of it the whole time. And Facebook's line of portal devices have had a smart camera feature for a couple of years now. In fact, you can check out our portal reviews to see the feature in action. But having a separate device for making video calls isn't really for me. The cool thing about using FaceTime on the newest iPad Pro is now you can leave it parked on your desk or a counter or whatever, and center stage helps keep the conversation going while you move around. As you can see here, when I open up FaceTime, the camera starts tracking my face even before I make a call, but I don't see any settings to turn it on and off. To do that, you open up the FaceTime settings and use the toggle here next to center stage. Or when you connect to someone, you can open up the options here and turn center stage on and off like this. So here's how it looks with it turned off. It's a very wide shot. But if I turn center stage on, now it's a tighter shot, but it'll follow me if I move in the frame. I think it actually works better if you get the iPad up a little higher. You could set it on a stack of books or use a convoluted stand like this. So now if I'm talking to a friend, I can get up and walk around the room and the camera will follow me wherever I go. I can get closer, further away. I do find that I end up seeing a lot of the ceiling in a lot of these shots. But if you bend over a little bit, it'll come find you down here and make a little better shot. Or I can always come and have a seat. It'll find me here again, but it might take it a second before it actually centers on me directly. There it goes. I am sad to report that center stage won't work with Memojis. So much for my kitty cat cooking show. You can, however, use some of these fun filters. I like this animation looking one. However, I'm happy to announce that center stage will work with other video call platforms beyond FaceTime. To use center stage in Zoom, open up a new meeting on your iPad. And this handy button right here will toggle the feature on and off. It's also available for Skype and Microsoft Teams. You can turn it on under settings for both those apps. And I'm sure there are a lot more apps out there as well. I can see this being really handy if you're in a meeting where someone needs to demonstrate something and needs to move around a lot. Or I could spend hours playing a game of peekaboo with my iPad. How will you make use of Center Stage on your iPad Pro? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe to our channel. iPad OS 15 will be coming out soon and we'll have all kinds of tips for you when it does. And let me know if you'd like me to do all my videos looking like this. What do you think? See you next time and thanks for letting me show you how to do it all. <music>